Hey everyone, this is a review of my La Ponde upgraded hydroponic system. I've been using this system for about a year now, and so I just wanted to talk about my experience with the system, the things I like and don't like about it, as well as uh, some accessories that I've used with it. Let me start with talking about how this thing works. So there's this tote on the bottom here, and this tote doesn't actually come with the kit. It's something you have to buy, but it, you know those, those are only a few dollars. So the water sits in this tote, and then there's a pump that comes with the kit, and the pump pumps the water um, through this black pipe right here, and the water comes up and goes into the top of the system here, and then it goes through these pipes over across, and then drains down into the next layer down, and, and then it flows this way, and then again down here, and then finally it comes out, there's a, a drain spot right there where it goes down into the tote. And so the, the water just cycles through there. You could DIY something like this, but I think it honestly would end up being more expensive than, than just buying one of these kits. Because the, the kit, they're generally like around $100, maybe a little bit more. And I think if you were to buy your own PVC pipe and try to cut it up, you're going to end up spending a lot more than like $100. You could do it if, if you want to do it for fun, that, you know, the, by all means. But if your goal is to, to save money, I don't think that's going to accomplish what you want. So you can see here that I'm mostly growing lettuce. This middle row is pretty much all lettuce. There's a couple of empty spots and a couple of these plants are pretty young. So it's not quite at full capacity. The bottom, however, is almost completely filled with lettuce. I use like every other spot is, is filled with a lettuce plant. That actually gets a little bit too crowded. So uh, I would probably do a little bit less than this going forward. But still, you can grow probably, you know, at least 12 lettuce plants on each level. Full capacity, this will probably produce somewhere between like $50 and $100 per month worth of lettuce. And you don't have to just grow lettuce. I, I, th I think lettuce is the best thing that you can grow in these types of systems. But you could also grow, you know, I've grown herbs like cilantro, parsley, uh, basil will probably do okay. The problem with basil, though, is that these systems are pretty shallow, and if you a, a big plant like basil might not do well because the roots just don't have enough room to grow. I don't grow basil in this, but I think it could work if, if you were okay with not letting the plants get too big. I don't even grow lettuce outdoors anymore. I have a big outside garden in my backyard, and I just don't see a reason to grow lettuce out there anymore because inside here I can grow year round. There's no weather to worry about. There's no bugs to worry about. Because it's growing hydroponically, it's growing much faster than the lettuce would grow outside. I just don't even bother growing lettuce outside anymore. I think it's just much easier and more consistent to just grow it right here. Um, I still fill my garden up with other stuff and, and I certainly use all that space, but I just feel like stuff that grows well indoors hydroponically, I'm just going to want to grow it, you know, no, especially lettuce. I'm just going to want to grow it in this type of a system and not deal with uh, growing it outside. Um, the pump does not run all the time. You can see there's a timer right here that comes with the kit. And the timer runs for five minutes on and 30 minutes off, which is really nice because now the pump's not running all the time. So that saves uh, on electricity uh, as well as it keeps the pump healthier because it's not having to run as much. This system comes with three rows, as we just saw, and it says that it comes with 108 plant sites. That's these one inch net cups. There's 108 of them. They're about three and a half inches apart, which is pretty close together. It's, it's probably too close together for most plants. So you're really not going to be able to actually grow 108 different things when you're uh, using this. You can see I'm growing this indoors. So I did have to get grow lights. These are the three foot Manios row lights. So I have a total of 12 lights. Um, I also have this row on top for the uh, this trellising system, which came separately actually. It did not come with the base kit. The pump that comes with the system is upgraded. It's a lot nicer than most of the pumps you would see on similar kits on Amazon. It's a seven watt pump, 160 gallon per hour. So it's not super powerful but it's definitely significantly nicer than a lot of the other systems that you'll see on Amazon. In addition to the other things I've mentioned, you also need to have uh, some sort of nutrients as well as seeds and uh, a pH meter. Those things are all pretty affordable though, and there's a lot of different options that you can have for all of those. My favorite seeds that I grow, um, you can see right here in the foreground is the Paris Island Cos lettuce. It's a, it's a romaine lettuce, it grows very well in the system. My favorite, though, is right here. This is the prize head lettuce. You can see how nice and yummy that looks. Uh, I've 
Really love this lettuce. It grows extremely well uh, indoors in these hydroponic systems. But you can grow a lot of different things in here. The system comes, it basically is just a bunch of PVC pipes and you mallet them together. And it takes about an hour, maybe less to put together. And then after you put it together, what I did was I ran it with just water. So no plants, no lights, no nutrients, just plain old water. I ran it for a couple of days, actually. And I did have a couple of leaks. You can see right here, there's a leak. And the system comes with tape. So you can see I just wrapped the, the parts that leaked with tape and that fixed it. I have not had any leaks since then. There's another spot up here where I had some problems with leaks. So you can see, yeah, those pipes just don't fit together very well for whatever reason, but the tape fixed it right up. When I initially put the system together, it came with a drain tube and the drain tube attaches to this outlet right here and goes into the tote. The issue I had was that the water would actually back up and it would fill these, these bottom pipes here and they would actually overflow. And so water was actually coming like out the top of these plant holes and was flooding my basement floor. And I think the issue was the tube was too narrow. And when I removed it, the issue went away. I've not had any backflow issues since. It actually works out pretty nicely though, because this acts as a aerator, because the water is actually falling down into the tote, into the water that's in the tote. And so that creates air bubbles. So it acts as like a free aeration tool. I don't have an air stone in the system right now, I've not had any issues with root rot, so I don't think one is really necessary. And it might just be because of this water falling down into the, into the tote and causing that aeration. People call these NFT systems nutrient film technique, but these are actually not NFT systems. Because if, if you look inside of here, you'll see that there's actually a layer of water. There's probably about maybe a half inch or an inch of water just standing in the, in the system. So this is actually called a deep film technique. It's sort of like a hybrid between Kratky and NFT, where there's not just like a thin layer of water, but there's actually a pool of water for the roots to absorb nutrients from. There are definitely people who would say that this is not a good system because the roots might not get enough oxygen. That has not been my experience at all, at least with the stuff that I've grown in here. I think they've all had plenty of oxygen. I haven't had really any problems with root rot. And it does have some advantages. If your power goes out or if the water gets too low in the tote, then there's, there's still gonna be enough water in these pipes to at least tide you over. But one issue I did have with this system actually is, uh, you can see that these are wrapped in aluminum foil. The pipes do not come that way. That was something that I had to add later. And the reason is, you can probably guess if you're experienced with these types of systems, I had a significant problem with algae. These lights are pretty bright. I don't know how well that shows up on the camera here, but they, they do emit quite a bit of light. And it was enough light that I was getting light bleeding through these pipes and, and causing issues with algae buildup. So if you do get one of these systems, I would recommend spray painting these. If you spray paint them black, then you should not have any algae problems. Or you could do what I did and wrap it with foil. I had to wrap it with foil just because um, the system was already put together. It already had plants in it by the time I discovered the algae problem. And I didn't want to throw everything out and take everything apart just to spray paint it. So one big question with these types of systems, I think, is how does it compare to an arrow garden or one of the Chinese versions of the arrow garden? And I think that these systems are Obviously, they're a lot bigger, right? Like you can fit a lot more plants in this system than you could in, in an arrow garden. However, these are also a lot bigger, right? They take up a lot more space. So you need to have the space to be able to fit this. You can see in my basement here, I have a nice corner next to the sink here where I have the place to put it. This is also a bigger investment. Like most of these arrow garden systems probably run anywhere from like 50 to maybe $200 at the top. Whereas this system with the, the kit and the accessories, you're looking at at least $200, probably more like $300 for uh, getting started. So it, it is more of a financial investment, but if you really wanna grow a lot of stuff indoors and you have the space for it, I think that this is a much better option. Yes, it is more money, but you will get that money back very quickly because as you can see, you can grow a lot of uh, lettuce. As I mentioned before, I am able to get easily $50 to $200 a month worth of lettuce out of the system. So in the year or so that I've had it, it has easily paid for itself. So I definitely think this was a great investment for me. It doesn't really take a whole lot of time to operate it. 
you know, there's once a week or so I have to like fill up the tote and like check all the nutrients. And, uh, and then otherwise it's just harvesting, which is, you know, kind of fun to come down here when it's time to eat some lettuce and, and just be able to pull a couple leaves off. And it's, you know, as fresh, as fresh as it gets, right. It's like just picked it like minutes ago and then it's, it's in my salad. So I really love having the system. It is, yeah, like I said before, a little bit of an investment, but I absolutely think it's totally worth it. So overall, would I recommend that you buy this system? I think that if you're willing to invest the time and you have the space to fit something like this, I absolutely think it's totally worth it. And it it really does pay for itself very quickly. It grows lettuce that is far better than what you could get, certainly at the grocery store. I like it even better than the stuff that you can get outside. So I, I do think that this thing is, is fantastic. Uh, there are a couple of caveats though. Uh, one is that you really have to be careful with algae. That is a big problem with a lot of these PVC based systems. Uh, so either be prepared to spray paint it or wrap it with aluminum foil like I did. The ongoing cost is, it's low, but it's not zero, right? Like running these lights does cost some amount of money. So you have to be willing to accept that there's going to be five to ten dollars a month in electricity if you have the time and the the space to to be able to use something like this it can be just an amazing tool it's a really fun hobby and it it can you know make you healthier because you're growing your own vegetables and you know what's better than that if you're interested in this kit i will include a link in the description to buy it on amazon i'll also include links to all of the accessories that you see here everything that i'm using basically to be able to use the system and grow the abundant amount of lettuce i'm growing thanks for watching